Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been, a, it's been a beautiful week, but it's only gotten better, and today has been truly awesome. I am enthused because it is the build-up to the Cape Town 7s tournament, the best of the year. Undoubtedly, in the Springbok 7s, we'll be hosting an evening with all the former captains. The current captain, Saviwe Soizvapi, obviously recently retired. Captains Philip Sneeman and Kyle Brown, legends of the game, like former captain turned coach, Paulie Delport with an attendance. Um, they'll all be there next Thursday. Paul joins us now um, to tell us uh, a little bit about what the event is going to be like. And we are joined by um, a Blitzbock who I'm sure is itching to get back out there. Sako Makato is um, on a bit of a hiatus with an injury at the moment, but he made his debut, a brilliant debut um, last year. And of course, um, all talk is around Sevens now with the Dubai Sevens League happening right now. Um, Polly, do you, do you remember those times? Um, how much pressure was it being a Blitzbox captain? Um, and how much do you miss that element of the playing days? Uh, I think when, 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 when I was playing, it was a little bit easier. You know, there wasn't, <laughs> there wasn't as much focus on the guys. I mean, now you look at the last, the last good few years, how well the guys have There's done. I mean, they've literally yeah. changed. I think they've changed the perception of what a sevens rugby player is. Um, and, and, and that's been the difference. And, to answer your second question, I definitely don't miss it at all. I love sitting on the couch watching you're these liar, young You're a liar, man. You're a liar. That's why you coach now, man. Really. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why you coach. Um, any favourite memories from when you look back? Because obviously on a captain's dinner like that, you're going to have to reminisce and get nostalgic. What, yeah. what would you say stands out as your, as your favourite kind of memory from that time? Um, gee, there are actually so many. I think, I think just, just literally being in some of the craziest places in the world with your best mates. Yeah. You know, like a girl, Kyle Brown and I was just the next captain. We still, we still best mates and we were reminiscing the other day. I mean, just being in, being in a place like San Diego yeah. and, going, and going, trying coffees all day. Uh, you know, it was things like that. Obviously, the on-field memories will always be there. Yeah. Um, it was always fantastic testing yourself against the best teams in the world. Uh, but most of, I think, the best memories, and Saku could probably attest to this, is, obviously, is just spending time with your mates. And you're obviously new to the fold, um, so how's the injury doing? Where, where do you sit in that kind of trajectory, getting back out there? Um, I just recently got out the moon boots and I've been doing my rehab this week. I uh, started running on the anti-gravity treadmill this coming Monday, so things are looking quite positive. Uh, should be the anti-gravity treadmill? Yeah. <laughs> How many toys? Do you have an anti-gravity treadmill in your day, buddy? I do, we actually did. It was my, 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 my last year of seven, the anti-gravity <laughs> thing. And I wish it didn't, because then I could have had a longer break. <laughs> then you call it, there. you know. Yeah. Um, so I, I noticed how poorly you were looking across at cycle when you took the physical element of the game. Uh -huh. uh, dude, for, for a guy of your physicality, yeah. incredibly mobile, what was it like making your because you're still fresh into the yeah. into the fold what was that like finally getting the call up and making it into that team uh it was uh, very exciting very nerve-wracking nerve for me um but coming from the academy and being part of the system already it uh, kind of felt like it's something i was used to so it wasn't that much of a big of a change but it was uh, it was a good experience making that leap up because i would imagine you've probably been the best rugby player in every team you've played for up until you get to the <laughs> sevens and then every player is the best team that's yeah. best player that they you know from their respective teams how do you balance that wanting to play in the system but also express yourself as an individual yeah, I think uh, one of our core fundamental things is that there's a big box and in that box there is you. So you're free to do whatever you want in that big box. I mean, yeah, in, the, in that big box. And then in there you just play and you, you, you do your best to make the system look good. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not a difficult thing to, to balance if you just follow the, the simple yeah, steps. Put the, yeah, put the team first and then the, the yeah. team will give you the time yeah. to, to shine. What goes into a captain's evening like this how just how bromantic can a, a night like this get but people who are going to be enjoying what is going to be an awesome event what can they expect yeah definitely it's just a, i think it's a it's a celebration firstly of 20 years of the of the of the world series and then just a, i think a celebration of of uh, springbok sevens in general you know from from our side i mean someone like jj Haramsa has been instrumental in putting this together and it's just a celebration a stalwart, i think he's, a, he's an absolute stalwart thank you for every interview you've given me dude because I've, <laughs> I've campaigned against that guy Yo, no, definitely uh, the poor man yeah uh, but but you know in saying that it's it's actually it's a it's a it's a it's a celebration and i think the things that we can talk about from a sevens perspective is obviously the guys just just how diverse our group's been from the from the outset yeah you know, i think that's something really to really to celebrate and then and then i think it's only been the last say five six years where sevens has really come to the fore before that it was kind of 
us who played sevens or the guys that couldn't make it in, in, in 15s. And I just love the fact that it's a bit more celebrated <laughs> Talking now. Talking nonsense, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Paulie, you talk absolute nonsense, man. No, but there is a firm focus there. Just very quickly, do you think um, England are going to be the hoodoo side today? Um, how are you seeing our blitz box in Dubai this weekend? I think the boys got off to a pretty good start yesterday. And uh, one, one, one thing I know about the guys is that they always step up from the previous day. So yeah. uh, we can expect a much better performance, much more clinical. So I have to back the boys all the way. Yeah, England yeah. must fear us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but another fantastic tournament. And of course, we can't wait for the Cape Town's leg to see both the men's and women's team in action. Um, but you can uh, catch all of the action today from Dubai. 11.48 this morning is when they'll face off against Spain in their next uh, Group D encounter. And then at 5 minutes to 6 or 54 minutes past 5. South African time is when they'll face England. Gentlemen, thank you so much. And enjoy reminiscing with your pals, man. Thank you so much, <laughs>